Interesting quote by Juventus boss Massimo Allegri. Mm -hmm. He said, Weston McKinney is probably the best American player playing in Europe. I think it's very important for him to continue showing the high levels that he has at Juve. Keep in mind, Juventus was linked with Christian Pulisic this summer. Do you think there's a faction of people in Europe that feel like McKinney has moved ahead of Pulisic and is actually the best American player in Europe? Yeah, I mean, best is subjective, right? Um, I think that... Weston McKenney at times is much more of a much r- more of a raw player and less refined than Christian Pulisic, but I ultimately think that Weston McKinney gets the job done, um, maybe more so than uh, than Christian Pulisic. And I think I think that actually plays better, even playing for Juventus. Uh, it maybe plays better in Italian soccer than it does playing for Chelsea in uh, in the EPL. And I'm not saying that the EPL isn't rugged and doesn't appreciate. Uh, rugged, but they're just such different types of uh, types of players. But this is this is high praise, and this is wonderful. This is what you want a manager to be saying about an American uh, American player. And again, it's Weston McKinney is probably the best American player playing in Europe. I would be interested to see where he feels he f- falls relative to just players, because it's still American player. So Weston's trick is to, to have this quote at some point in the future be, Weston McKinney is probably the best player playing in the Europe, or one of the best players playing in the Europe. And that's not easy to do, is to make that transition from being the best American player to the best player who happens to be American. What else you got? Um, on the center forward front, um, we neglected to mention this in the MLS segment, uh, Jesus Ferreira scored for Dallas in their win over RSL, yep. and then several other Americans um, doing pretty well in the preseason, whether it's DK, PFOC, Haji Wright, Ricardo Pepe, goals, assists, etc. Um, I'm thinking back to our interview with Greg Berhalter. I asked him about playing without a center forward, mm-hmm. and in the setup to the question, I said, Jesus Ferreira clearly has the inside track on the starting center forward spot, and he didn't refute that, no. and then he kind of shut down the no center forward thing and said, no, I think that lineup doesn't give us enough goals, so it sounds like there will be uh, another center forward in the in the roster for sure. Oh, yeah, in uh, the roster, yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm still, I still think it's Jesus Ferreira right now. The starter. Yeah. And then... Uh, did you get any read on Berhalter on which way he might be leaning as far as any of these guys? PFOC, Haji Wright, Pepe. Was there anybody he name checked that had jumped out at you? And <laughs> no. And by the way, if you didn't listen to the uh, interview, uh, it's in your feed, and it was really, really good. I thought that we got a really honest but also very relaxed Greg Berhalter. I think he has become much more comfortable in his skin. But as far as you know, the number nine position, you know, he rattled out a bunch, including uh, Pepe and uh, and PFOC and and others out there that have the potential. Um, I think, I don't think all of these will be part of the team, but I think it's, I think it's going to be Jesus Ferreira. And I think he's, I think he's come to grips with that in terms with the fact that while he would like to have a much more traditional nine, one just really hasn't stepped up. And unless something ridiculous happens here in the next couple of months, this is, you know, do you dance with the ones that brung you in? It's Jesus Ferrer or bust. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. 